know, today, at the very moment that we're here, the United States, Britain, and France are bombing a city in Libya called Surti. <laughs> كل شيء بأمر الله الله مكتوب ومقدر الله اصبر لا تتكدر الله من صوتك تأثر كل شيء بأمر الله الله شيء بأمر الله الله يا نجم يا الساري يا نهر يا الجاري أدعي لك الباري تبقى بحفظ الله that means they suck the air out of your lungs. The media refer to Surti as a pro Qaddafi stronghold. The Channel 4 reporter in Libya <coughs> describes the attacks as cutting off the head of the snake. عقلها وتوكل لا تحول وتتحول يا صاحب الأول ما يكفي غير الله الله ما يكفي غير الله الله عقلها وتوكل لا تحول وتتحول يا صاحب الأول ما يكفي غير الله الله ما يكفي غير الله مكتوب ومقدر الله اصبر لك there are two types of humanity in war. There are worthy victims and unworthy victims. The people of Soti are unworthy victims and therefore they're expendable both as people and as news. <laughs> كل شيء بأمر الله الله لا تشتكي لا 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 تتبع لا لا يا نجمة لا لا خل شك وتكل الله الله خل شك وتكل الله الله لا تشتكي لا 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 تتبع لا لا يا نجمة لا 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 خل شك وتكل الله الله خل شك وتكل الله مكتوب ومقدر الله American Marines, helped by the British, <coughs> killed some 5,000 people there. Last year I used footage of what had happened in, in Fallujah in a film of mine. It was shocking. It was almost a vision of Hiroshima. <coughs> Not a frame of this film was broadcast when all this happened six years earlier. Although it was offered and it was rejected. <laughs> 
كل شيء بأمر الله الله خذني على جناحك في مبس من طاحك فرحي من أفراحك يجمعنا حب الله الله يجمعنا حب الله الله خذني على جناحك في مبس من ضاحك فرحي من أفراحك يجمعنا حب الله الله يجمعنا حب الله يجمعنا حب الله As Harold Pinter would say and he often spoke up here none of it happened it didn't happen even as it was happening it didn't matter everything was used in Fallujah cluster bombs white phosphorus, cancer is now rampant in that city. In Afghanistan, I filmed a woman called Oratha kneeling beside the graves of her husband and seven other members of her family, including six children. An American F-16 pilot had dropped a 500 pound bomb on her small home, which was made of mud and straw. I walked into the crater and saw pieces of human bone. شبكة إبداع الإعلامية تقدم مكتوب ومقدر أصبر لا تتكدر من صوتك تأثر كل شيء بأمر الله الله كل شيء بأمر الله الله مكتوب ومقدر الله اصبر لا تتكدر الله من صوتك تأثر كل شيء بأمر الله الله We've had 10 years of such crimes that didn't happen but didn't matter 10 years the revision is now well underway and I'm not referring to the Sun or the Daily Mail. Yesterday, the Guardian said that the invasion of Afghanistan was understandable and to wage a short war was unavoidable. Understandable, unavoidable, no mention that Al-Qaeda had left Afghanistan when the invasion began. No mention that the Clinton administration had been secretly dealing with the Taliban regime for an oil pipeline, even inviting the Taliban on a secret trip to Washington. No mention that the Taliban were lavishly entertained in the Texas mansion of the CEO of the oil company Unical. No mention that the attack on Afghanistan almost certainly had been planned before 9-11 as Pakistan's Foreign Minister Nayad Nayak later revealed. He was told in July of that year that Washington had decided to get rid of the Taliban regime because they were unreliable. <laughs> الله يا نجمي يا الساري يا نهري يا الجاري أدعي لك الباري تبقى بحفظ الله الله تبقى بحفظ الله الله يا نجمي يا الساري يا نهري يا الجاري أدعي لك الباري تبقى بحفظ الله الله Some people who ought to know better swallowed the lies about Afghanistan being unavoidable, understandable Many in the, in the women's movement in the United States listened to Hillary Clinton lie that an attack on Afghanistan would liberate women. When this excuse wore thin, drugs became the issue. No mention that the Taliban had actually eliminated the opium trade. Today, young people on the streets of British cities are addicted to heroin thanks to British and American deals that allowed their favorite warlords 
to restore the opium trade. <laughs> The war in Afghanistan was a fraud right from the beginning, just as the attack on Iraq was a fraud, and the invasion of Libya is a fraud. According to evidence published in France, but not in this country, the so-called National Transitional Council in Libya promised to grant 35% of oil concessions to the French company Total in exchange, and I use the term, in ex they use the term rather, in exchange for France's military involvement. Here's David Cameron boasting that Libya is the model the model for humanitarian intervention all over the world. Your presence today, your presence today, you should never ever underestimate this. Your presence today is so important because you and millions like you all over the world represent decency, sanity, outrage. The Camerons, the Blairs, the Straws, the Obamas, the Bushes represent extremism. They are the enemy. <laughs> For what can be? For what? For what? Let me ask, for what can be more extreme than the slaughter and suffering of so many innocent people? Never lose faith in your own power, for they are not invincible. They fear this power. They and the, their apologists fear you calling them to account. Above all, they fear you disobeying their atrocious rules and, and, and believing their atrocious propaganda. Because from Egypt to Chile, Wall Street to right here in Trafalgar Square, there's only one way now, and you know what that is, it's called civil disobedience. <laughs> Allah, Allah, Allah.